important. Let's bring it back to something very real. That is your stance on performance enhancing drugs in sport. Mm. You've made a big noise around the world saying that you believe it is right to allow athletes, allow cyclists to use performance enhancing drugs drugs, even though many of those very same athletes say it's absolutely not the way they want their sport to go. So why? Well, the rules of sport are entirely arbitrary. They're what we make them. So there's no inherent rightness or wrongness of any set of rules. You choose them according to various values. And one of them is their ability to be enforced, their ability to protect athletes' health, the ability to create a fair playing field that's enforceable. Now, the current regime involves today, what athletes are actually doing today is not what the East Germans did in the 70s of taking massive doses of drugs that turned women into men. They're moving within the natural range for all of these parameters like blood, testosterone, growth hormone, and it's virtually impossible to detect whether someone is moving within this normal range. And it's safe because they're in the normal range. But you, the only but reason but that we have... If you persist with this, you turn sport into a contest between scientists rather than a contest between physical athletes. Well, of course... the best drugs will win. Of course you could if you, again, moved into supra-physical, supra-normal doses of these things. You seem to miss a, a sort of human element here. Let me just quote your words from Bradley Wiggins. Tour de France winner, a guy who has made a stand against drugs, says he's never used yeah. drugs in a, in a sport which has been yeah. tainted by drugs. He says, I do what I do because I love it. I don't do it for a power trip. What I love is doing my best and working my hardest. If I felt I had to take drugs in my sport... I would quit tomorrow. Well, again, um, they do take um, substances that enhance their performance. Caffeine used to be banned. It's not a naturally occurring substance in the body. It's now permitted. It in increases oh, the time. On, but there's a, there's a difference. Well, caffeine is a performance. I'll give you some other performance enhancers that athletes w take all the time. Analgesics, local anaesthetics, non-steroidal anti to enable them to deal with the pain and damage of competition to keep... Nearly 100% of footballers are on these sorts of drugs to enable them to perform better. Those things are very unnatural and they're also dangerous. But nobody perceives them to be performance-enhancing drugs. But, of course, they are. That's here, why they're given. 